What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining me this week. Today officially kicks off the start of the 2024 breeding season. We've got our first clutch on the ground, so hang out with me and let's pull some eggs. So you are joining me here from a uh, vantage point looking straight into the enclosure in question. As you can see, you can see my one of my jungle girls in here. And you can see a few slugs around her. I saw her um, in the act of laying this morning. I was like, sweet, we got a clutch of eggs to come home to after work. Saw some slugs in there, but I already saw that there were more fertiles in there. Um, for those of you who don't know, slug is a term for an infertile egg. You'll see, I'll show you um, these up close. And uh, please forgive the, the messy cage. And there's some urate deposits from the, the male who bred her in here. And during breeding season, I tend to leave some of the funk um, within reason uh, to kind of help everybody feel quite at home. But she's gonna get a full overhaul today. We're gonna clean all this up, so. Don't you worry, but first, we're gonna take a look at the eggs, see what we got, take a look at mom, take a look at dad if you like, so yeah. Now this is a jungle carpet. Morelia spilota chaniae, and uh, carpet pythons, as most pythons like to beehive around their eggs, and I could leave them with her and she could maternally incubate the clutch herself this season. Um, but seeing as how there's some slugs in there, maybe I didn't feed her enough, maybe the male didn't fertilize enough one way or another, I'd probably not go maternally on this one even though she's doing just fine. I just wanna get some, some food in her. She looks good, but I don't know. So, Here's a slug, it's an infertile. It looks like we have two, three, four, five infertiles. But she can lay, you know, 18 or so, so that's really not bad. Now, she just laid these this morning, uh, so she's clearly had enough time to, to beehive them. And uh, she is a good mom, but she's not striking out or anything, but I don't wanna, you know, assume she still could, but I know her pretty well. So what we're going to do See if we can't gently get her off of these without any incident. A couple more slugs in there. Try not to roll anything. These over here. Good mama, you're okay. Wait, a lot of slugs in here actually. So, it could be because I didn't feed her enough, because the male didn't do a good job, a whole bunch of reasons. Oi! Okay, she didn't like that. <laughs> going to do is get her out get her away from the clutch Hold that back please thank you just going to put her away for the time being make sure she's empty Yeah, 
she is. Good and empty. All right, so it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Viable, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven slugs. This is actually not a very good clutch, but that's okay. With how many uh, clutches I'm expecting this season, I don't mind uh, sacrificing a few numbers here and there to make sure everything fits, so I'll take it. Eight viable eggs. All right, so here we are with our clutch egg box that's been sitting in the incubator for a few weeks ready to rock and roll and uh, I've placed them in the exact orientation they were laid the general idea with reptile eggs is once they've had about 24 to 48 hours to sit where they've laid the embryo will adhere to the top and you don't want to roll them uh, too much you could basically dislodge that that air pocket up to the top and they can essentially suffocate and uh, the embryo won't start so we're gonna get this over into the incubator and these guys are gonna sit and cook for probably 50 to 55 days or so. And they will be the first uh, carpet pythons of the 2024 season that we see hatch out in about two months. So uh, between now and then we'll be pulling lots of clutches and uh, hopefully have uh, some better some better clutches admittedly than this one. But uh, I'll take what I can get and I will not complain. So, kicking it off. Starting off the season with some jungles. Gotta love that. Before I forget, this is Dad. He sired that clutch. He's uh, not a not a big boy, so it is a feasible argument to say that maybe he is the culprit for the number of slugs, and maybe he didn't get the job done quite so well. Uh, it's possible. He sired a clutch before, though, so hard to say. But. Uh, I've also had that female produce a great clutch for me before as well, so who knows? I don't have all the answers, but I do know that out of those eight eggs, there will probably be some screaming jungles that come out. The downside to that is, is I won't have as many as I would like to share with everybody, so oh well, can't win them all. And another steamy note. The brettles have shed after uh, coming home and having some feed. They've had a couple meals and intro. Now they're getting steamy in here. If I'm not mistaken. They might be breeding right now. I don't know. What did you guys see? I can't see that well. You guys can see. What do you think? Either way, I'm liking what I'm seeing from over here. All right, so we're going to shift gears a little bit here and wanted to talk about a subject that maybe most people either don't think about, consider, or even get to experience, and when they do, they're always curious about it. So what do you do with adult breeders that you have no more interest in breeding from, you like them, you've had a great history with them, you'd hate to get rid of them, but you're just not gonna breed them and you kinda need the space. So what do folks like me as a breeder do with these animals? So this right here is Polly. She is bred three times for me, produced super zebras many times. Um, I have offspring of hers breeding both super zebra, male and female. And I've got some, some other zebras that I'm holding back to, to take her place essentially. Um, if you pay attention to other sectors in the reptile world like ball pythons where you're trying to progress into the next genetic combination what they'll do is they'll they'll breed a female maybe two times and then have her replaced with uh, another female coming up that's even more stacked that they've been holding back so carpet pythons is not the same um, we do have genetics but there's not so many that you know I need to keep up with the Joneses and keep replacing breeders but 
I am interested in pursuing uh, some generational breeding of, of my own animals. And in order to do that, I either need to increase my space or make room. And uh, right now, the answer to that is making a little bit of room. But how do I, how do I, you know, get rid of such an important animal? How do I, you know, how do I do that? Well, fortunately, the way the, uh, the odds gods and the, the snake and reptile gods have shined upon me and have sent somebody who's interested in this animal and has been speaking with me over the last couple of weeks, setting up a, an amazing, beautiful four foot tall enclosure. Um, tons of room on the bottom, tons of climbing, branches, plants everywhere to hide in, lots of lots of great stuff. It looks beautiful. So I'm really excited for her to go off to this this gentleman. And uh, this gentleman will remain nameless because I'm not giving out people's name and info and I'm pretty sure he prefers to stay private anyway. Um, but former, former individual who's done a lot of service work for his community and I'm happy to send this girl to him. You know, she's going to be well cared for and looked after there. I've uh, been giving him all of her story and background and photos and kind of letting him know what's up with her. And so he's very excited and so I'm very comfortable knowing that she's going to go to a good home. And that's the most important thing for me in this, in this transaction essentially, right? I want to know that she's going to go to a good home and be loved and she most certainly will. So. Just some food for thought. Um, I know I've definitely kept animals till they've aged out and passed on, but sometimes uh, those plans aren't always always the way it goes. So she is going to move on. I've got her offspring two generations down growing up here, and uh, yeah, really happy for for what's to come for her. And I thought I would end this video on a positive note. There's lots of breeding activity going on. We got the first clutch of eggs here. And so 2024 breeding season has officially started. Of course, I'll be keeping you all updated on what's going on with those brettles. They seem to be attached at the proverbial hip. The males vary into her, she just shed. And uh, yeah, I'm looking very, very hopeful at those. So hopefully the next time I pick up this camera, uh, we might be looking at a few more clutches. Who knows? But regardless, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching today. Please go show some love to my sponsors. You got Heli Guy Serpents making some amazing 3D printed stuff for your animals, perches, sky hide mounts, you name it. Um, he can kind of dream it up and make it essentially. So go check him out at heliguyserpents.com and on Instagram at heliguyserpents. I'll have all their information below. My, uh, my love and company reptiles express i love them i've been using them for the last five plus years shipping and materials of the like if you are shipping go check them out they've got all the boxes supplies you've ever need um they've got a a discount code run in with me code riley 50 will get you 50 percent off up to 10 shipping labels per customer and uh they also have a sister company premiumcrickets.com if you use code riley 15 will get you 15 percent off at your checkout don't forget to become a member of USARC if you aren't already. USARC and USARC Florida do a lot for our reptile world and keeping us uh, able to keep these animals. So the least we can do is support them. If you would like to support me and what I'm doing here and join the amazing family on Patreon, you can find me under Riley Jimison on Patreon. We have monthly meetings. There's discount codes at Heli Guy Serpents, uh, discount to my merch, uh, early access to a lot of different things, including babies so if that's what you're into come check me out or if you just want to support come on by and with that i bid you all adieu this is polly's last time on the on the channel she gonna be taking a nice flight out today to her new home cross country she's got a beautiful home waiting for her and uh just loving loving the reptile life these days so Glad to see y'all joining me in this. Catch y'all next week.